In today's video, we're going to be going over the top five ways to make money in GTA 5 Online solo and with a crew so you guys can maximize how much money you make every single hour in GTA 5 Online. I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Starting off with how to make money solo, we're going to start off with the fifth best way, and that is going to be your bunker. You guys can make about $131,000 per hour from your bunker. How do you calculate this? Well, the bunker will take about 11 hours to fill up. You could sell it for about $1.05 million if you guys do have all of the upgrades. And then, of course, if you do sell it in a populated lobby, then you guys will be able to get a little cash bonus at the end, netting you around $131,000 per hour in online. The only downside to this is you will have to wait that 11 hours to get that full profit. Or you could sell your bunker stock every two hours or so and get that money in installments instead of waiting the full 11 hours. It is still a great way to make money, but I would suggest using this as more of a passive way to get money because all you really need to do is go and deliver some support supplies there and then go do work somewhere else. But you can make a $131,000 per hour in GTA 5 from doing your bunker work. The number four best way to make money in GTA 5 Online is going to be doing vehicle cargo. Now, you guys can actually make a pretty decent amount of money from this solo. You can make roughly around $240,000 per hour. You ask how? Well, you start vehicle cargo. You have a high-end vehicle. You go, you take that, you sell it, you make $80,000 of profit. Then you have to wait 30 minutes before you can sell another one. So then you go and source some more vehicles, get another high-end vehicle, sell that. Then you make another $80,000. Wait 30 more minutes, maybe go do some other work in that time if you get a high-end vehicle sourced and then sell another one after the hour is up, and there's another $80,000 profit, totaling in at around $240,000 per hour. Now, you can actually make a little bit more if you go do some VIP work or stuff like that in between if you guys are able to steal a high-end vehicle right away. So you really can make a lot of money off of vehicle cargo, but obviously you can make more doing it with a crew, but solo, $240,000 is still pretty damn good. So it is number four on the list. Obviously, there's some better ways, but it is still a great way to make money. These next two are technically tied, but at the same time, not really. So we're going to go with number three being special cargo. Now, you guys can make roughly around $323,000 per hour from special cargo. Now, you're not going to get that $300,000 every single hour. You would get it when you sell your entire full special cargo warehouse. And of course, we are talking about a large warehouse. I'm not going to go in depth on the best ways to do it, but if you guys do want to see a guide on each and every single way to make money in the game, there's a playlist link down below so you guys can watch all those videos and then you guys will have the best guide for each of these businesses in game but you guys can make three hundred twenty three thousand dollars per hour of course that would be actual crates in your warehouse worth three hundred thousand dollars and by the time you have a full warehouse you can sell all of those crates and net yourself a pretty decent total. It will take you a while to fill up, which is why it's number three and not number two, but you guys definitely can make a lot of money off of special cargo. As long as you guys do the missions properly, you don't mess up, and of course, you don't lose any crates while doing the actual sourcing missions. But special cargo is a great way to make money, and it's super simple to do solo. The second best way to make money in GTA 5 Online Solo is going to be doing terabyte and VIP work spam. You guys can make an absolute killing from this. Each mission will take you a max of 5 minutes and a minimum of 2 minutes to do, which means once you complete all of the missions, it'll take you roughly around 13 to about 20 minutes at most to complete all these missions, and you guys will easily make uh, over $100,000 in that time and you just do that all in an hour, then you guys can see you can make right around three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars per hour just by doing some work missions. You don't even have to own a business, but then as soon as you guys finish this, you can go and invest in a business and then do these missions on the side while you're also doing work for your business, making your profit just huge in the end. If you guys do want to see a full guide on how to do these missions properly so you guys can maximize your profit, there is going to be a link down below in the description and also in that playlist of the best ways to make money in GTA 5. That whole playlist is literally just filled with a bunch of videos that I've made on the absolute best ways to make money for every single business and certain guides that you guys can follow and just things like that. So be sure to check that out down below. But doing CEO terabyte work will obviously net you a huge profit. The missions you want to do are Sightseer, Headhunter, Diamond Shopping, and Robbery in Progress. Two are found in the terabyte and two are found in your VIP work menu. Then you guys can just make a ton of money and get rich quick. The number one way to make money in GTA 5 Online Solo is going to be doing the Cal Perico Heist. You guys can make an absolute fortune from this 
And of course, there is a guide down below on how to do it properly, but you could pretty much complete this heist in about an hour to about an hour and a half. It really is not that hard, and that's including the setups that you actually need to do. Of course, you would do the heist silent and sneaky. You'd be able to walk right through there and get all of the stuff you need quick. You guys can make around 1.3 to 1.7 million dollars in about an hour to an hour and a half if you guys do it properly. So if you were to play GTA 5 for a solid five hours, you guys could have an absolute killing of money at the end of that. So the Cal Perico heist is hands down the best way to make money in GTA 5. And I really hope they don't make some of the other setups necessities or else obviously it'll take a lot longer, but you only really need to complete five mandatory setups, which only take you around five, maybe 10 minutes if you're very, very slow and you blow up your vehicle or something like that but you can make a ton of money from doing it. It's super simple. And obviously, $1.3 million is gonna be stealing the lowest primary target, which is tequila, and of course, stealing cocaine as a secondary target. So then you guys will make a 1.3 million. And then 1.75 million comes from stealing the pink diamond, and then also stealing cocaine as a secondary target. And then you guys can make $1.7 million in about an hour to an hour and a half. Now let's get into the best ways to make money in GTA 5 Online with a crew. Now there's only four you actually really want to think about because everything else really just won't make you a lot of money and it's just a waste of time. So we're going to go over the best four for doing it with a crew. Starting off with the fourth best, that's going to be Special Cargo. Special Cargo can make you roughly $511,000 per hour in online doing this with a crew and that's with a minimum of three people just because it'll easily help you complete missions a lot faster for added protection and if three crates spawn at once then you guys can just each get a crate instead of you going and getting a crate one by one which obviously just takes more time and of course you'll get that five hundred and eleven thousand dollars per hour but you actually won't get that cash per hour in game you will get it once you fill up your whole warehouse then you and your other two crew members would go and sell that and that is when you would get paid out it pretty much just means you would just get a little bit more money just a little bit faster just because you have a couple people helping you that's why it's number four on this list number three is going to be the casino heist now this would only require two people and i would suggest doing it with two people so with a crew two people will be your best option now you guys can make about seven hundred and eighty-seven thousand to 1.35 million dollars in about an hour and a half to about two hours just depends on exactly how long you guys take to actually complete all of the setups now 1.3 five million dollars is actually split 50 50 and the only way you can get that is if you get diamonds which are currently not in the game right now so you would make a little bit less but it is still a great way to make money especially since you only need one other person to help you out and if you split the cuts 50 50 you guys can just make an absolute killing it's really not a hard heist to do and it's actually pretty fun so i would highly suggest you guys try it out and there's three different approaches so then you guys can do it multiple different ways and see which one works best for you and then just to continue to do that one approach and then you guys can make a ton of money off of that it is number three on this list honestly you can make a decent amount of money but there are two other things you can do in this game to make even more money with a crew helping you out number two is vehicle cargo now this could also technically be number one because you can actually make so much money per hour the number one way we'll talk about it in a minute but it's kind of confusing but anyways Number two is vehicle cargo. You guys can make upwards of $960,000 per hour if you have a total of four people, including yourself. Like I said earlier, $80,000 per high-end vehicle. All four of you guys go and you source and sell four high-end vehicles. That nets you a pretty decent profit right there. Then in the 30 minute cooldown, you guys go and source more vehicles as much as you can. 30 minutes later, you'll have four more high-end vehicles. Sell them all. 30 minutes goes by again, go and source more vehicles, sell them all, and in an hour, you will have $960,000 in your bank account from selling all of those vehicles, which is crazy. You can make an absolute killing. Now, that might go down to about 900K, just depends on how much you guys actually end up crashing the cars. Obviously, keep them in good condition, so then you guys can make the most amount of money, but vehicle cargo is either the number one or also the number two best way to make money with a crew. We'll go over why in just a second. So the number one way to make money with a crew in GTA 5 is the Cal Perico heist. Now, you guys can do this a couple different ways, either with two people, three people, or four people. Now let's talk about how you guys split the cuts. So obviously, if you guys were to do the Cal Perico heist, you guys can make 1.4 to 2.6 million dollars with two people. You guys can make 2.4 to 2.8 million dollars with three people, and 2.8 to 3.2 million dollars with four people. 
but then you also have to think about splitting up the cuts. So if you do it evenly, for instance, with two people 50-50, you will make 709 to $1.3 million each. With three people, you would split it 30-30-40. Let's say you got 40% of the profits, you would get 988,000 to 1.12 million. And if you did it with four people, split it evenly, 25-25-25-25, you would get 700K to 800K each. Now this would take you about an hour to do, because if you have all of these people helping you out and you go and do it silent and sneaky, it really won't take that long. But let's say you probably take an hour and a half to do this, which means you can make a max profit of about $1.3 million stealing the best primary target each in the Cal Perico heist. That's obviously a great way to make money, but the thing is, you guys might not steal the pink diamond and get that $1.3 million each with two people. So that's why vehicle cargo is still technically number one, because you can get 960 k per hour with four people. But then again, the Cal Perico heist would only take you about an hour, hour and a half. And if you guys do get the pink diamond every time, then you guys will get that 1.3 million. But let's say you got tequila instead, you would only get about 700K in about an hour to an hour and a half. So if you guys really just want to know the best ones, I would suggest doing vehicle cargo and the Cal Perico heist with two people or vehicle cargo with four people. If you have four people to help you out, do vehicle cargo right away. You guys will just make tons of money. But those are honestly the best ways that you guys can make money in GTA 509 with a crew and solo. Like I said, if you guys do want to see the guides on every single way to do everything properly for each one of these businesses, just go take a look in the description. There's a playlist with all the videos you need to watch. Just go and watch some of those, whichever one you want to do. Like there's one for special cargo, there's one for the Cal Perico heist, the casino heist, and everything else in this video. So go check that out down below. I made tons of guides in my five years of doing YouTube, so go check them out. So in the end, which one should you do? Should you do some work with a crew or should you do it solo? Obviously solo, the best thing that you could do is the Cal Perico heist. You can make 1.75 million dollars in about an hour to an hour and a half so obviously do that with a crew the best thing you could probably do is vehicle cargo that would just guarantee you tons of money and especially if you get bored of the calperico heist or you could do vehicle cargo for an hour hour and a half then switch over to the calperico heist and then just switch back and forth if you have a crew but in the end i would just suggest continuously spam the calperico heist over and over and over again and in one day if you guys were to spend eight hours playing or even eight hours in a week you guys could have almost $10 million, maybe more, in your bank account by the end of the week or the end of the day, depending on how much you actually play the game. This video is sponsored by Frag Pro Shooter, the best shooter game of 2020, specifically designed for mobile devices with more than 30 million players. The main objective is to destroy the enemy bunkers as quick as possible. Once the two bunkers are destroyed, you will be able to access the access tower and destroy it to win. You can also collect more than 80 characters and every single one of them has a unique gameplay with specific roles and strengths. And then choose your favorite characters to build your team of five with your own strategy, attack, and defend your towers. During the game, you control one character and the other four are controlled by the bot. You could switch between different characters whenever you want and you also have the option for third person and first person camera angles. Thanks to a recent update, you now have the chance to build a team with one of your friends or a random partner and play against two other people. You both pick three characters and then fight to see who would emerge victorious. If you click the link down below in the description, even if you already have the game downloaded, you will be rewarded with one golden chest, 500 coins, and 50 diamonds in-game. This is a one-time special offer only for you. Be sure to check out Frag Pro Shooter down below in the description.